Well, hi there, and it's a warm welcome to another Saturday morning, all the latest and greatest on disc. Well, here I am in the hot seat, and I know why they call it that now. Jack's been keeping it warm with his children's program, and it's a pleasure to be with you all for another 50 minutes of the Al K Show, your only local pop show. And if you're feeling good already this morning, that's just great. If not, if the mood's a little blue, just keep tuned to Radio Derby, and I'll try to brown up your day with music and fun. It's the new one from Junior Campbell on the Al K Show. And that one was cool. Of course, Sweet Illusion. And of course, talking about fun, in today's show, I've got an extra competition for you. And that's, uh, we're going to find out our furthest away listener. So, uh, really lovely, that one. So don't go away. I'll explain about that one in just a moment. And as usual, two LPs are being given away in my phone-in and writing competitions today. And I want you to phone me with your instant dedications if you've got any this morning. The number is 361111. That's Derby, of course. And lots of things happening on the Al K Show. You're a pussy cat, you're where it's at. The one that's in on every place. The Ian's out. Big girl. Drink easy, drink easy, pull easy. So don't forget, if you want a dedication this morning, you can phone Darby 361111. And I'll give you a mention and spin your dedications right away. Well, that's the record of the weekend, the LK Play of the Day, the new release from Geordie, and that one's called Can You Do It? And to me, that's a very strong, sharp material. I think it sounds just a little bit like uh, Gary Glitter, but for making the top, that can't be bad, can it? Definitely another chart topper, and possibly even number one for Geordie on that one, and that comes out on the EMI label. And the phoning competition is coming up soon, and if any particular record um, brings back some beautiful mem memories to you, write in, because next week we're going to have a memory spot. Well, in the studio this morning, I have uh, Alison Evans from Ashby de la Zouche, who won last week's competition about the original artist of the record Seven Little Girls. So who was it, Alison? Um, the Avons. That's yeah. it. And how do, you, how do you remember that? Because that was sort of 1959, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was one of my mother's old records. It's probably not the sort of music you like, then. No, not really. I, I like uh, more heavy stuff, progressive, probably, I think. And is that the sort of LP you like? What LP would you um, like? Lou Reed, Transformer. I think that's fantastic. Oh, yes, and Walk on the Wild Side yeah, is on that. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And what sort of entertainment? Well, there's not much to do around Ashby, unfortunately. You know, not many discos or anything, but I do go to the Young Farmers Club. That's about the only thing, but apart from that, we sit in pubs all night talking. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> OK. And uh, what, what job do you do? Are you working? Um, I'm at Technical College at Colville, doing business studies for two years. Any ideas yeah. what you'd like to do? Uh, I'd like to travel. I think. Abroad? Afterwards. Yes. Obviously. <laughs> Not around Britain. Well, fine, Alison. We'll take you around the studios later on if you're interested. Are you interested in Radio Derby? Yeah, very much so. I don't have time to listen to it too much, but, um, you know, I like your show. <laughs> Well, from his LP, Cosmic Wheels, that's Donovan with a track called Maria Magenta. And you probably saw him on the John Denver show, on the last John Denver show, which is rather unfortunate, fabulous show. That. And that's my favourite number on this truly magnificent album. And if you're into this music, go out and buy it. Well, my featured club this week is in my own hometown of Burton. And, you know, it's, that's uh, down the A38 where they make the beer and drink it. It's about ten miles from downtown Derby. And all you've got to do is go into the high street where opposite the Bargate shopping precinct, you'll find a narrow entrance leading back to Burton's centre of entertainment. And the name of the club is the 76 Club, where this Friday, June the 15th, you can see Halcyon in concert. And Halcyon, by the way, came second in the Melody Maker contest, and they hail from Worcestershire. So if you fancy some good heavy music, and I promise you a good beer, that's the 76 Club in High Street, Burton on Trent, and that's this coming Friday. And of course, if you're a disco fan and a soul fan, it's open with mobile discos on Saturday and Sunday. I'll see you all down there soon, OK? And the phoning competition follows right after this next record, so stick around for that and get ready to phone Derby 361111. Don't forget your phone dedications and the furthest listener competition. So if you live miles and miles away, just phone in once again and you'll be on the radio soon. And into the number one sound around at the moment. And of course it comes from Wizard. The time's 25 past 10. Well, still holding out there at number one, the big sound around on June the 9th in 1973. 
And if you'd like a chat with me, even if you're only around the corner, you don't have to be miles away, really. Just phone in Derby 361111, leaving your name, address, and your dedication. And we've got quite a few coming in, so we'll give those out in just a few moments. But if you think you are the furthest away listener, just give me a ring also, and you'll be on the radio, in fact. And in a short while, I'll be having about four telephone conversations with you, and you could be one of them. But just at this very second, it's time to say it's the phone-in mystery record competition at 10.30. And uh, all you've got to do this week is um, tell me what LP this track came from, from the Beatles. Here it is. Good day, sunshine. Good Good day, sunshine. Well, we've not had the right answer yet. We've been having some people saying, Abby, well, <laughs> things. But if you know what Good Day Sunshine came from on the Beatles LP, I want to know what the LP is. And all you've got to do is phone Derby 361111 right now this morning. But into some requests. And this goes out to, uh, it says, all the Ross and Henry regulars of Radio Birmingham looking forward to next Saturday's link up. Yeah, in fact, we are linking up with uh, Ross and Henry next Saturday, so stick around for that. And it says, you're privileged. They usually listen to Ross and Henry, but they're on holidays, of course, uh, this week. And I hope they'll be back next week for the link up. And that comes from Mr. and Mrs. Mike Davenport, Tommy and Sandra of 20 Wood Street in Ripley, and from Mr. and Mrs. Palmer and the children. Well, that's Neil Sadaka once again uh, hitting the charts, and that one, of course, is called Standing on the Inside. And I think we've got somebody on the phone about the competition. Let's go over to Ian Parrell. Hello, Ian. Hello. And where do you come from, Ian? 34 Lawn of Belper Derby. Uh -huh. And what's the LP? I think it's Revolver. Yeah, that's it. Great, well done. And what sort of music do you like, Ian? Well, I like the Beatles or the Stones, uh -huh. Harry Glitter. Right, so what sort of LP would you like? Any idea? Uh, I'd like the uh, Solid Gold LP, the uh, EMI one. Up and coming is the writing competition with another LP prize and then some phone calls in my new spot today in which I'm trying to find out our furthest listeners. So don't forget, give me a ring on 361111. <laughs> Well, that's Marsha Hunt trying for the charts once again. That one's uh, an old traditional thing called Oh No, Not the Beast. That's Marsha Hunt then, and that comes on the Vertigo label. So if you fancy buying that one, that's really nice. Well, it'll soon be time to find our furthest listener, so uh, don't forget, if you do live quite a way away, ring Derby 361111, and you could be in line for an LP. But first, here's this week's LK writing competition. This was sent in, as I said before, by Mr. Clark, who won our, I think it was our first uh, writing competition, and he came from Melrose at 15 Bretby Lane in Burton-on-Trent. My thanks to you. And once again, if anyone else has any suggestions for competitions, please write to me. What you have to do is complete the limerick. Uh, we've now had LK for just four weeks. And you've got to make another line rhyme with that and send them into the LK show here at Radio Derby. So the line is, we've now had LK for just four weeks. And then you've got to make that rhyme into something like, I don't know, and I like the way he speaks or something like that. And the best one will win an LP. Well, I think we've got our first furthest listener. So let's go over to Cheltenham, I think it is. Hello. Hello. And what's your name, sir? My name is... Jonathan Ellis. Jonathan Ellis, and where are you from? I'm calling from a little village called Brockhampton, which is near Cheltenham. Wow, and how far far is that? Any idea? Uh, not offhand, no. It's, uh, it's about 50 miles from the transmitter at Sun Coldfield, though. So we can say, well, let's say around about 50 miles then? Yeah. Well, you're certainly the first, and uh, <laughs> definitely the furthest so far. And um, we've got some dedications here going out to Joanne Smedley of 71 Lime Grove, Chattersden. And it's her eighth birthday on the 12th of June. This comes from Mummy and Daddy, Lynn and Karen. That's great. Happy birthday there. And also to Christopher and Michael Tucker of 305 Prince Charles Avenue in Mackworth. Two brothers both going away on to the Merchant Navy and the Army. I wonder which one's which. But anyway, this comes from Sister Deborah. Well, I hope you do well there, fellas. I know the Navy and the Army. I've got lots of friends in there and they really enjoy it. Also going out to Mr. and Mrs. Percy Gadsby of Surridge Farm Nether Hege from daughter and grandson Carl. That's a nice one. Where's Nether Hege? That's be around Derby somewhere, I should think. Right, into more music. I'm not sure whether you're uh, into heavy music or you people listening in. I hope so. This comes from the Edgar Winter Group and it's called Frankenstein. <laughs> Well, there we are then, the Edgar Winter Group there and a thing called Frankenstein. I think that's really nice. That brings the time up to 11 minutes to 11 o'clock. And we've got a dedication here going out to Alison's boyfriend. Alison, of course, is in the studio here, won the competition. And this is David Welsh of 2 Creswell Drive over there in Ravenstone near Ashby de la Zouche. And this one comes from Mary McGee. And she's Auntie Mary to the children at St Christopher's. And it says, Dear Al, first of all, may I wish you the best of luck with your new show. And I would dearly love you to play a request for the children of St Christopher's that are at home in Derby tomorrow, Saturday. Well, that's today, of course. 
and they will be listening as I have been on the phone with them and I'll uh, leave the choice to you. Thanks in anticipation and she says she's got a brainwave here and she wants to um, lose a uh, stone in four weeks and she wants some sponsors you see and the money will go towards the children of St Christopher's on a holiday for them. So if anybody's interested in sponsoring uh, Mary McGee there uh, you can contact her at 86 Fairfield Road in Derby and the phone number is Derby 25294. That's Derby 25294 and if you want to sponsor her for losing a stone in four weeks, good heavens I hope that doesn't damage you too much, um, I hope you get lots and lots of money for the children there at the St Christopher's home. And also going out to um, some people that wrote in for the competition last week, this comes from Jane Brown at the Boundary Farm in Longford in Derby and she got it right and even the, um, the year it was made in, that was 1959. Sorry you didn't win Jane, I hope you uh, phone in again some other time and write in for the competitions. And we've also had one from a blind person here which was rather nice and we had it done in Braille and it came from Shrewsbury but uh, it also came from Dave Bowden of 8, I think this is Mensing Avenue, Colgrave in Nottingham. So great Dave, I hope uh, you write in again. It was really nice to receive that one, sorry you didn't win. And also uh, going out to Kevin Kent of 72 Dover Road in Burton-on-Trent and he in fact got the chap that wrote in, that was John D. Loudermilk. Well into some more music right now. More music, more music, more music, more music, more music. This one comes from First Choice. It's called Armed and Extremely Dangerous. Nine minutes to 11 o'clock. Well, I think we've got another furthest listener on the phone, so let's go over to Mr. Sprague. Hello, Mr. Sprague. Hello. And where do you come from? Aston Somerville. Yes, now, I've got an idea here. You were the one that uh, wrote in about this competition. Yes, that's right. Fine, I'm just reading your letter now. And you're from four black and white cottages, Aston Somerville, yes. near Broadway. Right. Whereabouts is that? I was a bit confused. It's about uh, four and a half miles south of Evesham. Evesham, that's sort of, Birmingham is sort of, what, north to that? Uh, yes. Presumably. So that's, what, is that 60 miles? It's, uh, well, according to my book measures, it was 68. Great. And how come you're listening into the LK show? Well, uh, Radio, uh, Radio Birmingham was on uh, the other week, and I just happened to tune into your programme, which I think is very good. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Bragg, and thanks for the letter. Well, there it is then, um, Roadrunner from Junior Walker and the All-Stars, and another furthest listener. Let's go over and see where he is. Hello. Hello. And what's your name, sir? Uh, my name's Paul Bridges. And where are you from? Uh, I'm calling from Banbury in Oxfordshire. Uh, I think Banbury from Derby is about uh, 160 miles. Right, well, thanks for being on the show, then. Yeah, cheers. I enjoy your show anyway. It's thanks great. a lot, Mr. Bridges. OK. Into some more requests, which we're going to try and get in. This one's going out to Stephen Ridley, who wants a request for Andrew, his little brother, of 46 Rodich Avenue. Well, there you go. That one's going out to you. And also to Margaret Walters of 82 Norman Road, Ripley. And it says that it's their wedding anniversary, 11 years from her husband, Peter. Great, that's 11 years. And also to Peter Fields at work, listening to the radio. Ooh, tuck, tuck, naughty, naughty. And this one comes from Margaret, his wife, Stephen and Philip. Also going out to Mrs. Esme Lane, and it's her birthday, of 2 Almond Avenue, Ripley. This comes from Janet, um, Arthur and Gary Dale. Also for Dale's birthday, uh, she's one on Thursday. Uh, once again, it's time for everyone up here to take out the earplugs and get back to the serious side of BBC broadcasting and some helpful hints on how to run your own women's circle. <laughs> so don't forget to write in with your entries to the Limerick competition. We've now had LK for just four weeks and you've got to make that rhyme up. We've now had LK for just four weeks. Keep sending in your requests and dedications or anything of interest. Next week I'm having a memory spot so if you've got a particular record that grabs you and has golden memories for you, let me know and I'll spin it for you. Tell me all the details, won't you? Oh, that's nice. LK here at the Radio Derby. Well, the time's just gone 11 o'clock, overrunning, and you've been listening to another 50 minutes of pop, pure and simple. I'm off to play cricket this afternoon at 2.30 with the Radio Derby and Traded Team versus Kent and Sussex Curious from the Tunbridge Wells, and that's at Hatton Cricket Ground this afternoon at 2.30. So please come along and see your local radio station's team and your own LK. That's at Hatton Cricket Ground this afternoon. We'll be pleased to see you. And we're going over to Jack Walkabout in just a few moments, so next time you see the name K, be warm, beware. Most of all, you be there. Bye-bye for another Saturday morning. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. Follow that if you can. <laughs>